In this video, we are going to look at how to determine the amplitude and period of the given function. So let's start with number one. So what I need to remember here is the general form of the function, which is equals to y is equals to a sine b of x. And remember, it could be sine, it could be tan, it could be cosine. So remember the amplitude, A is equal to the amplitude, amplitude. And to find the period, you do 2 pi over the absolute value of B. And this is for sine and cosine. For tan, we do period is equals to pi over b. And this is for tan functions. Now, let's go to the problem given. So the amplitude for number 1 is equals to 1. And the period is going to be 2 pi over 6, which is equals to pi over 3. And pi over 3 is the same as 60 degrees. Because remember, pi is 180 degrees. And when you divide that by 3, you get 60 degrees. And this one... We, we find that we can see that A is equals to 2 and period is equals to 2 pi divided by 1 half. Remember, some, sometimes students get confused when they are dividing fractions, but just remember, all you need to remember is that when you divide by a fraction, it is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction. So we get 4 pi. And 4 pi is the same as 720 degrees because pi is 18. Okay, so we go to the next one. So the next one we have A is equals to two and period is equals to two pi over absolute value of b so b is six so over six which is equal to pi over three and remember this is the same as sixty the same as sixty sixty degrees and <coughs> I'm just going to highlight my answers here. So that's how to do examples like those ones.